Let's take a look at the process of alcoholic fermentation. As you know, it begins with a molecule of glucose. Chemical reactions cause the glucose molecule to split into two. This results in two molecules of pyruvate, as you can see. This chemical pathway yields a molecule of ATP here and yields a molecule of ATP here. This is very important energy carrier and this is what we're after so we will flag that with dollar signs. The oxidation of glucose doesn't happen by itself but it is rather aided by the power of a molecule called NAD plus and in the process it is converted into NADH. What I'm showing you above also happens here so I'm just going to say same so you'll understand that this pathway is just like the one above. Next the pyruvate loses a molecule of CO2, this is a gas, and turns into an intermediate called acetaldehyde. Now the goal is to make lots of ATP. In order to do that we need to split a lot of glucose. And that's only possible if we have a lot, a big supply of NAD+. So the only way to obtain a big supply of NAD+, is to recycle the NADH back into NAD+. That way we can use it again and again and again and split as much sugar as we want. And the only way to do that is to convert the acetaldehyde into ethanol, which is toxic. It's a waste product that must be eliminated or degraded by the chemical reactions of the cell. The saying, Leo the lion says grr. Leo stands for lose electrons oxidize. And grr says gain electrons reduce. In this model, NAD plus is gaining an electron from the glucose. So NAD plus is being reduced. And that's how it turns into the neutral NADH. And of course that means the glucose is being oxidized.